looks like I'm picking my nose <laughs> in my intro, but welcome back to another ASMR gaming video. Guys, this is a gameplay replay of Iron Trials, and today Iron Trials got taken off of the playlist, but I still felt like it was, um, you know, relevant enough Iron Trials. It, it, it was very controversial. You know, that game mode was very controversial, and I kind of wanted to talk about it with you guys and discuss and kind of kind of hear back from you guys what you guys thought about Iron Trials or if any of you guys are even playing Warzone anymore. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do ASMR gaming every single night. As we land on this scavenger, I pick up an RPD. And there were some people that landed on me. Go ahead and melt this guy. This guy's coming at me with a sledgehammer. Yep. Too slow. Too slow. Anyways, but I do ASMR gaming videos every single night. So if you're a fan of ASMR and gaming, then I highly recommend you subscribe. Sometimes I even do live streams. Uh, this is actually a, a, a replay of a live stream over on my second channel. Which is, of course, Collect and Play, which you can see at the bottom of the screen. There's all of my socials at the bottom of the screen for those that are ever curious as to what I do, you know, every single day. So, um, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hit that like button before you sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, I do have a controller here. Uh, that I'm gonna be fiddling with. Look at this guy. Oh man. So let me give a little bit of a backstory on Iron Trials while I casually fry this team. <laughs> so Iron Trials is a different game mode in, uh, you know, <laughs> just get absolutely one v two. Okay. Uh, so Iron Trials is a different game mode. It is uh, kind of a variation of Warzone, but the difference is the time to kill in Iron Trials is way, way, way slower, meaning that you have much more health. It takes more shots to kill somebody in Iron Trials. Also, your health regeneration takes longer to... Uh, Enact, I guess is the word I should I, I, I should say. It, it takes longer for your health to regenerate. And among that, uh, everything is more expensive. Uh, at the buy stations, it's 15000 for a loadout instead of 10000 However, to make up for that, there are some incredible, incredible, incredible ground spawn weapons. The ground loot is actually good in this game mode, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, when you find a, you know, a gray, like a common SMG, there was a common BPSH, right? And the one attachment that it had, you know, since it was common, was a 71 round mag instead of like something silly, like, you know, a compensator or something like that. Uh, so they basically uh, Activision or Raven Software. All this tells me, all this game mode tells me is that they know how to make good ground loot. Like they know, they know what the community wants. And they gave it to us in this game mode as we get saved by the boys Quanto. They gave it to us in this game mode, right? They gave us all the good ground loot. They gave us a faster or slower TTK, which I don't know about you guys, but the TTK, the time to kill in base Warzone is so fast. Sometimes it feels like whoever sees who first wins. It's kind of hard to defend yourself against people that maybe have to drop on you. And that's not to say that, you know, that that shouldn't happen. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody should have a fair fight it is a battle royale and rotations matter and you know shot selection 
should matter, but... Oh, also, you can get specialist bonus for 50,000, but we never got a chance to do that. I mean, 50,000, that is a ton of money. Um, but for this video, I'm using the AK-47 and the BPSH, by the way, which in my mind is a really, really good class right now. It, it definitely was a good class for Iron Trials, but it's it's especially a good class for Warzone as well. I, pretty much anything that's going to be a good class in, in Iron Trials is also going to be good in Warzone. But uh, look at this guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. And I think Squanto gets the other one. Yep, Squanto gets the other one. By the way, Squanto is a new friend of ours. He is uh, somebody that I met at the MFAM barbecue. I've played with him a couple of times now, a handful of times now. Matter of fact, I spent the day today playing with him and a couple of his buddies. So, uh, shout out to Squanto. But, <laughs> yeah, so, where was I? What was I saying? Yeah, so... Iron Trials, again, they just took it off the playlist today, but in my mind, I wish that they would bring Iron Trials back and make it the permanent way that Warzone is played. I think that Iron Trials was way more fun than base of Warzone. Uh, it made Verdansk way more enjoyable, in my mind, because... The one thing, so the reason why I play Rebirth over Verdansk is because I simply do not feel like looting for 20 minutes just to go and die to somebody that saw me, like ran up behind me and shot me in the back. And because the TTK is so dang fast, I don't even have time to react. I don't even have time to turn around and this guy bang 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 this guy almost had me look at my health i'm one hp but look at this i got a medical syringe medical syringes also kind of come into play in in this game mode it's actually kind of smart to use a medical syringe um as we get another down here and get a little push get a little aggressive here right no reason not to He's crawling up the steps. This guy almost, almost gets the kill on me. I, I throw the thermite just to make sure that he's blocked off. And uh, get a little bit of heal up. Get a little bit of heal up. He is right here, mounted on this door frame. I go ahead and just get a little tack slide into him and get the kill and save Squanto with a little bit of time left. But yeah, I think I think this would be a good ranked game mode, and I've seen that talked about on Twitter. You know, Iron Trials would make for a really good ranked playlist, a ranked game mode. I saw where a couple of pros, I want to say it was like Iceman Isaac, uh, who is an incredible Warzone player, incredible Battle Royale player. He posted where he had won like 14 out of 15 games of Iron Trials, and the tweet was something along the lines of, like, it's amazing what, what happens once you take, you know, you hire, you raise the DTK, and, uh, you know, have actual good floor loot in the game. <laughs> All of a sudden, good players can then defend themselves from, uh, you know, players that have good ground loot. Uh, or, you know, players that are maybe camping in a building and, and get the drop on you, but <laughs> as I stim myself, I, I'm so used to using a uh, heartbeat sensor that I just stemmed myself because I was trying to use heartbeat, but think about it, think about it when you, when you make the ground loot, how many times have you died to somebody, look at Squanto going up there, just absolutely fries the kid, just absolutely fries the kid, barely even took any damage, but how many times have you died uh, off spawn in Verdansk because you had, I don't know, a Hauer shotgun, a gray Hauer, and he had, you know, whatever. Um, what's a good floor loot? Uh, just a better gun, you know? Just a better overall gun. How many times have you died in Verdansk? 
because just got some loot. Just not having the right loot. Also, why is that so bright? Holy cow. Um, I feel like more times than not, that's how I died. Or that's how I, I die. Uh, I'd say a third of the time, you know, I die to somebody that's just better than me. Another third of the time, it's because I don't have my loadout and they have their loadout, which I guess that would also mean that they're, uh, could be better, you know, if they, if they're faster than me getting their loadout, it could either mean that they are better than me or they just got a little bit more lucky, but when you make the floor loot as good as it is in this game mode, it doesn't really matter because the floor loot is actually comp, like you can, you can use it and, and it's okay, it's good, and everybody has that fair chance. Um, also, random side note, uh, stun grenades are nerfed in this game mode, which is another humongous thing that people complain about. Uh, people hate stun grenades, and rightfully so, because they are way, 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 way too strong. Um, I really hope that they bring this back for the release of Vanguard. I, I want to say that they will. I feel like they will. When Vanguard drops, will be that'll be when the next time we see this uh, game. Oh my God! There's a guy right there. I I see him now. I didn't see him in game, but I see him now watching the film back. How did I not see that guy? That's tough. That's tough. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we will see Iron Trials in the public eye for a while. Maybe they'll introduce it. The, I like it that I stemmed myself again. Maybe they'll reintroduce it in like a week or two. Um, I would like to see, you know, something similar to what they did with the buyback playlist. How they had, you know, buyback solos, buyback duos, buyback trios, buyback quads. And you could pick whatever you wanted to do. Iron Trials was only duos, unfortunately. I'd like to play Iron Trials trios, Iron Trials quads, because... Me and Squanto were actually playing with uh, Citizen for a little bit of the day uh, during the session, and this actually took place after he got off. But had there been Iron Trials trios, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we would have been playing Iron Trials trios. And I, again, I know that they have the ability to make that happen, where you can, you know, pick and choose. I don't know if it's because they're worried about how many people are playing Iron Trials. I don't know if it's because they, they don't want to, like, lower the amount of active players in a certain playlist, but in my mind, it seems like a no-brainer. Also, my nose must have been very itchy this day, because I've been scratching it quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, yeah, but again, BPSH, the AK-47 did get nerfed, uh, but this, this AK-47 gameplay is post nerf and this is the for the record this is the black ops the cold war ak-47 that i'm using not the modern warfare don't get it confused don't get it twisted although i've said for a while that the modern warfare ak-47 is low-key not bad it's actually pretty good um i should i should maybe use that for for a a video I feel like that would be maybe a, a solid video idea using the AK, but it's the wrong AK, and use the AK-47 from Modern Warfare. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot, but again, I got 15k again. I'm like, hold up. Well, actually, I accident. Never mind. I thought I was going to buy another, uh, I thought I was going to buy another loadout, but just went ahead and got a UAV. This poor guy over here is just by himself. Let's go take care of this man right quick. Should be quick, fast, and in a hurry. Look at this. Oh, he has no idea what's coming. No idea what's coming. Sledgehammer in hand. Sledgehammer and AK-74U. He must have the AK-74. Oh, that's another thing. Oh, man, how could I forget? When you die and you go to the gulag, if you win your gulag, you get to keep your weapon from the gulag when you drop back it is so 
so, so nice dropping back into the game with a weapon. Uh, sometimes, you know, in Rebirth, later in the game, you get to come back with an SMG. So, I've always wondered why it's not like that in Verdansk. Because usually when you're dropping back in, you know, you're getting, you're coming back with like, uh, like some sweaties. You know, everybody's got their loadout. That guy, I was missing a lot of shots right there. But that guy was persistent. He really wanted me dead. Squanto got the other guy. But I mean, look at us. We got 13 kills with 32 remaining. Not too bad. Not too bad. Again, uh, what do you guys think about this game mode? Because I, I was under the impression that everybody liked it. But a buddy of mine texted me and was like, it's so bad. And I was thinking to myself, it's incredible. So I think it was like you... It was one of two ways. You either really loved it or you really hated it. There was no in-between. Look at this guy. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Squanto. Oh, look at this clutch. Look at this clutch. Oh, this is why. This is why you run stems in Iron Trials. Look at this. Oh, man. I got a stem. Got my stem off. Gives me plenty of time to get back into circle. Look at that, look at that. You love to see it. You love to see it. I also have a uh, munitions box, so I'm gonna have two stems when we get back into circle. Those stems really came in clutch, honestly. Uh, if I wasn't to use heartbeat sensor, I would probably go with stems moving forward just because of that play right there. Like it saved my life. I would be dead right now if it wasn't for the stems. And it's especially smart to use it in Iron Trials because it literally takes forever for your health to start re reviving. And it, and it revives so slow. It replenishes so slow. I'll try and point it out next time I get shot. Well, now I'm getting shot. <laughs> what, what kind of timing was that? Um, anyways, plates, I think plates still act the same. I think, you know, it's still the same amount of health on plates, but you just take a bunch more hits when you're, you know, no armor. But we're going to slide up this hill, and I think we had an idea. Yeah, I think we have a UAV, or, we're, or no, we're going to combine for a UAV up here at this buy station and hold a big portion of the map. There's eight squads left, or eight duos left. It's got to be one solo, because there's 15 alive. So, seven duos, one solo. And uh, if you check the uh, UAV here in two seconds, a good bit of them are, like, outside the circle. So I go ahead and just hold these guys. I shouldn't have shot. I shouldn't have shot that. I don't think he saw me up here. I think, I think he was just... He was just panicking, trying to get into the circle. But I'm just sending shots down, down range, and there's this team up here on, on the tour on the left. And I'm missing a lot of shots right there, not gonna lie. I think, I think the Modern Warfare AK is a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more uh, accurate. Look at this, here we go. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. Alright, watch how long it takes for, for my health to revive if I don't use one of these stems. I bet I use a stem. I mean, look, look how slow it's going up. See how slow it went up. Very, very, very different than real Warzone. Or, you know, core Warzone. I would say that this is like hardcore or old school. There used to be a mode back in, like, COD 4 called Old School, and that's basically what this is. Oh, another thing that I completely forgot to mention. There's next to no fall damage. Fall damage distance got basically doubled, so you can jump off of really tall buildings and not die. Like, taller than normal buildings. Pretty much the only the ones that you weren't able to jump off of were, like, down-down buildings. Everything else, you were fine. And I don't know why that thermite didn't go through that window, but we're getting clustered. I'm like, let me in, give me in here. I was nervous. I 
was nervous. But five duos left, dead alive. I heard somebody, I'm pretty sure somebody was right underneath us. I don't know if uh, it was called out by Squanto or if it was just something I could hear or just something that I felt. Yep, look at this guy. He thought he could sneak up on me. Again, thought he could sneak up. Not today, not today. Look how slow that health is going up though again. Man, here, I wish I had combat recon here in this situation. It would have been so perfect. It would have been so perfect. Look at this. Bang. He would be he would be banged. Both these guys would be banged. I would know exactly where they are. And I could shoot them through that wall. I'm pretty sure that this is a wall bangable wall. And I was just missing all my shots. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Four duos left. Eight people. We have good control of circle here. We got cover on all three sides, all four sides, pretty much, because we're indoors. We know where two different squads are, we just don't know where that last squad is. And, uh, yeah, I think this, yeah, this guy gets a little overzealous. He's kind of hanging out in that windowsill for a little bit too long there. This guy's lost over here. I don't know what he is thinking. Seven people left. Last one. There's another one in there. I'm getting precisioned. I think uh, somebody pushes up into our building. I'm just like throwing stuff. I'm like, you know what? May as well, right? This guy. Look at Squanto. Look at Squanto. 2v1 for the win. 2v1 for the win. W's. Man, what a game. 16 kills with a dub. This was our last game of the uh, day, too, so it kind of felt really good to go out with a win. Really good to go out with a win. Again, I can't wait for Iron Trials to come back, though. It's not currently available to play, but I still wanted to upload this gameplay because I felt it was good gameplay. So, that being said, guys, for watching this during the day, then have a relaxing rest of the day. And if you're watching this at night, then have a great night of sleep.